I've been involved in the Patagonia field testing program for a little over 20 years right now. My very first exposure to it was through a half and half that Yvonne gave me when we were switching out uh, from polypropylene to, to polyester, and that's what kind of got it started. Field testing has been closely involved in the evolution of capillin base layers, as well as a lot of other fabrics that we've done. Um, I think in capillin, it's even more important. Getting field products out in the hands of people that use them actively in the areas that they're intended for use is really, really critical to our development. It's the only way we can really tell if it does work or doesn't in a real life situation. The key things that we looked at in developing the new capillin, I mean, there's always your basic ones. You've got dry time and moisture management, comfort against the skin, odor control, all those things. Um, and in this case, aesthetics. We wanted the product to be more street wearable, more versatile. But what we really realized early on is that it's, it's a balance of all these attributes. You have to balance the equation out because if you just rely on one thing like say dry time, you're really giving up a lot from the other ones. So that's what the difficult part is to achieve. You know, you gotta make it durable, but you can't make it too heavy. You've gotta make it warm, but it can't be too warm. It's gotta breathe, it's gotta dry. All those things all come together, hopefully in the end with the, the good product. We use half and half garments primarily in our fabric developmental testing. One half of the garment is one fabric, one half another. This allows us to get really immediate uh, feedback and response on performance and comfort in real life situations, which is the key. If you put it on the back of someone that's doing an ultra marathon in the mountains, by mile 50 you have a pretty good idea of which side you want to keep running in and which side you don't. And putting it into cold situations, warm situations, all these different areas that our product lines cover is really what's key to our product and fabric development needs. This capillin development or redevelopment was a really big project. I think we sent out more test samples, probably numbering 100 plus than I ever have in any you know, project to date. Um, we really tried to cover all the bases. Of course, we had four different weights to to try to create, but um, it was pretty sample intensive. I think one of the things that surprised us, something that we learned from this development um, project, was that we really don't know all that much <laughs> about what, you know, what it really takes to balance all these um, characteristics. I think that the subtleties of yarn size, yarn placement, materials, um, application, knit, all those things come together in very subtle balances that were kind of a surprise to me, you know, how much difference you could achieve with very, very subtle changes in the characteristics. And I think that that um, not only taught us a lot, but portends really well for the future where we can build on these things.